Mr. Tit here in Division 3. I'm not sure where Mr. Tit is from. I know Mooseman is from, uh, from South Carolina. Oh, just catches the up E. Mooseman missing the, uh, missing the edge right there with the down smash. Dash attack. I'm gonna welcome Andy Kins to the uh, casting booth here in a moment. We've got a lot of time until you get to play. Yeah, I guess so. Good old D1. Uh, well, so who do we have here? We have Mr. Tit and Moose Man. Moose Man I've never really heard of before today, but he's apparently doing pretty well. Came from South Carolina. Yeah, like, um, we had no clue where to seat him. <laughs> and we, we looked at Smash GG and I was like, D does South Carolina even have a scene? And if they do, there's at least one person. It's interesting that he's coming up here because isn't MDVA. Yeah, like Pennsylvania like, throwing MVP, throwing one. He wanted that easy money though. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he knows people in the area or something. He's yeah. got a Red Wing shirt on. Yeah. So um, so there's something going on beneath the surface. Not mm -hmm. sure where Mr. Tit is from. Though. Mr. Tit, uh, I think he was an indie player. Let's see. Finally got the the D3 pools up. Oh yeah. Doesn't even say where he's from. He's hidden. No. No, it's the Manton Enigma. So, game one goes to... Uh, to Moose Man. Man. Three yeah. stacks left, too. It's pretty comfortable. He plays no. Mario. I haven't seen him do anything else. Yeah, and uh, Mr. Tit scared. Go and Pikachu. Definitely a fear counter pick. <laughs> like, he probably said to himself, like, he doesn't want to get gimped too much anymore. Yeah. Um, Pikachu very good at gimping and not getting gimped. So sure far, what happened to Moose there. Yeah. He lost uh, his jump, or he got locked in the animation, maybe. Yeah, probably just mistimed his jump. Now, it looks like the counter pick is working so far uh, early on, but. Give Moose Man a minute there. to figure it out. I believe in him. Yeah, good recovery there from Moose Man. Guy's back against the wall. He's just like, alright, I'll throw Pikachu out. Why not? Yeah, and uh, it is working. Up a couple stocks. And really good patience uh, by Moose Man. Just waiting out the good invincibility read, yeah. and getting the up smash. A little impatient by Mr. Tit. Being aggressive there when he had the invincibility seems unnecessary. <laughs> Just like and that, then instantly and loses composure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Mr. Tit uh, seems to have a very good idea of when to find his grabs. 
it's, uh, looks like it's bread and butter at the moment. You know, he went to Pikachu to Gimp, but he's not really getting the Gimps right now. This is here. Oh, hey, just like as it. I say it. Yeah, he knows that uh, Mario's up B. Uh, the weak spot is on the back of his head, so that's where he's going to want to place his uh, Nair every time. Oh, I like that up B a lot. It's hard, too, because except for that spot, there's really nowhere you can attack Mario. It's pretty strong up B, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just very, it's pretty disjointed. Uh, a lot of hits, too, and just very quick. Mm -hmm. So it'll beat out a lot of moves outright. Not much really trades with it unless you know where to hit it. Oh. He's back there. Can he get the game? Scenario. Oh. Great fast fall by uh, Moose Man. Let's see what Moose Man does with Tid here off the edge. New the dash attack. Oh, gets it that time. And the reverse hitbox. So on the other end of the matchup, uh, even though Pikachu kind of knows where Mario wants to recover, uh, Mario has to pretty much guess where Pikachu wants to go to get the proper edge guard. Um, and that was a great read by uh, Mr. Tid, just going deep on that back here. And it's extremely difficult to guess where Pikachu's going to go, because he basically has the whole side yeah. available to him. He can mix up the lengths of his up B, uh, and he has two different directions that he can go once he launches it. And a few up airs, not going to get a kill out of it. Thunder, no. And uh, still alive, this is doable for Moose Man, but it's going to be very unlikely. And uh, good job by Mr. Tit there, just uh, putting out the back air, but not really committing to put himself in danger. Uh, and he's going to take that trade every time. So good job evening up the game. Now how many make it out of each pool here? Just uh, one? Just two. Just two. So we do have some fairly difficult pools. Yeah, I was going to say, this one doesn't look too bad, but yeah, um, hipster queso, that could be tough. Yeah, uh, hipster, depending on if he wants to actually try and not go Donkey Kong, that'll spell a lot. Oh, and we got a double. So, uh, preemptively, uh, it looks like Mr. Tit switched to um, Falcon. Falcon. And Moose Man whipping out the. Uh, or, wait, yeah, yeah. So Mr. Tit, he switched to Falcon, and Moose Man with the fairly smart counter pick with uh, Kirby. And good recovery there. Um, I don't think he expected him to wait that long to launch his MP. So to a Smash novice, yeah. When when someone uh, wins the match, they have to name their character first. Yes. They win the game. I mean. So um, yeah. So if you win if you win the match, then you either say like I'm gonna switch to this character, or it's I'm staying whichever character you were. And then Moose Man would have the chance to counter if he so choose. Yeah. Working out for him right now. So um, maybe, uh, so th that that's interesting because uh, maybe Mr. Tit had some prior knowledge um, that uh, maybe Moose Man had another character that he was scared of. And but Moose Man just reaching all the way in his back pocket and whipping out that Kirby. It's gonna be tough. This is a doable matchup on uh, Falcon's end, but it's just so punishing. Yeah. Once you're off the stage, it's uh, against any competent Kirby. Right. It's going to be incredibly hard to get back. And Moose Man certainly looks like he knows what he's doing in yeah. that regard. I like watching Moose oh, Man. Oh, the reverse up tilt. Yeah, Moose Man, he knows his stuff. Back throw is really dangerous against Falcon, too. It uh, turns him around, so uh, he can't... It takes away the option to grab right. the ledge. Um, so you're kind of forced to up B or hit away Kirby to get a proper recovery. Um, Kirkle, see. there's a bracket command. Yeah, thanks, Gucci. All right. Mr. Tit, Mr. Tit's gonna take down a few more stock before he goes. Yeah, he's gonna. He needs to turn on his touch of death right now. That's a 
start. Oh, but uh, nice neutral area. times that a little wrong. Yeah. That would have connected. Let's see if we can turn this into one. Knocked up a little too high there. And that back air just eats up oh. that down air. And wow, Moose Man coming from South Carolina making a statement. A lot of smart choices there, too. Yeah, definitely. From both players.